Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can display the invoice receipt date within the FI and MM transactions, so especially for the FB60 and the Myro transaction code. Uh, here right now, we are in the transaction code FB60 to enter vendor invoices. And here, for example, we don't see currently the invoice received date so the Rhine that for example if we open up the Myro then we see a similar view we don't see the invoice received date but if we for example open up the ABAP dictionary and within here for example RBKP and click on display then we can search for the Rhine that and that's the, yeah, the field the technical field for the invoice received date so it is definitely there and can be used and and for example, if we go to the BKPF, so the table containing information for the FI invoices, and then search for the invoice receipt date once again, then we can see that it is there once again. And here, especially if you have a Polish company code or of course other company codes and you would like to use the invoice receipt date, there is one really easy trick how you can yeah, um, activate the invoice receipt date within the my rule within the FB60 and so on. And yeah, once again, if we open up the FP60, then yeah, we have uh, different um, fields within the header, and especially within here, you can't use uh, field status variants. Um, yeah, especially those fields are handled within the ABAP code. But there is one really easy trick how you can activate the invoice receipt date and to do this first of all you have to guarantee that you have implemented special uh, SAP nodes as prerequisites and to do this here I have opened up this page for this SAP node of course I will link this SAP node in the video description because initially the invoice receipt date has been created and yeah, published for the um, for the Czech Republic company code because of the VAT ledger statement for uh, 2016 but of course if you have company codes um, for other countries uh, Polish company codes German company codes whatever and you would like to use the invoice receipt date that then you can of course use this SAP node also. And within here, if you scroll down a little bit, then you have to make sure that you have implemented all those mentioned SAP nodes. Um, so read this SAP note in general really carefully because I think it's it's nice written uh, containing all the needed information. But especially if you have implemented this SAP note, then you have to go to the SAP system once again, and then you have to open up the transaction S Pro. Um, yeah, basically to now activate the invoice received date. Then you have to click on SAP reference image or hit the F5 key on your keyboard. And then basically you have to go to financial accounting new. Then you have to go to general ledger accounting new. Then you have to go to periodic processing to report. Then statutory reporting, Czech Republic, where you added tax ledger and click on find settings for VAT ledger. And now within here, you are in a maintenance view for uh, you know, for maintaining the country specific value added tax settings. And uh, another way is also if you open up the transaction SM30 and within here that you type in this maintenance view. So it's the IDF. I V A T V underscore D E F, and then click on the maintain button. And within here, basically, yeah, you have to make sure that you have one entry for your company code right now. If you, um, if you 
watched the FB60 or Myra transactions quite carefully, then you might have recognized that I have used company code 1010. So therefore, and now I don't have any entry for the 1010, so I just duplicate the existing entry for the 1010. And then you have to make sure that definitely this checkbox received data active is activated. So make sure because with this checkbox, you activate the invoice receipt date within the FI and MM transactions. So hit the enter key, then click on the save button, then yeah, save your settings within a customizing request. This is totally fine and then you are good to go. So now if we, for example, open up the transaction Miro, then for the company code 1010, now we have the invoice receipt date. If I have it hit the F1 key, there we can see the technic information and it's definitely there. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. So this is really, really great. And of course, if I, for example, open up the FB60, then within here, I can also see the invoice received date. And yeah, basically now I would like to post a simple invoice just for demo purposes. So let's just yeah uh, type in just small. So, and of course, <laughs> we have to make sure that the invoice receipt date is filled. So I hit the F4 and F2 key, and then I put the today's date in this field. And then basically here, I now click on the post. You can just ignore this, that's totally fine. And then here, this document was posted. So I just copy the document number go into the fb uh, or of course we go into uh, the data browser directly so the se16n transaction into the bkpf uh, hit the document number the company code and the fiscal year hit the f8 key and now if i would like to see what is there within the invoice receipt date then we can see that now this field is filled the invoice receipt date and of course you can you can work also with all the other transactions fp01 fp02 and so on the field is now there it is really a simple trick and yeah basically if you have any questions regarding the invoice receipt date put them in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button and please support my work by subscribing this youtube channel thank you so much and then see you in the next video